on the road one more time. This is my last trip to go off metal detecting and doing some lake hunting uh, for the summer. I may still do some uh, water detecting around my house locally, but this is my last official trip that I make every year. It's the day after Labor Day, and uh, I hit some lakes that are only open uh, now, the day after Labor Day, all the way up to the weekend preceding Memorial Day. And you can hunt them anytime in between that frame, time frame, but you only can get on it the day after Labor Day. And so I've got a couple of lakes I do that uh, in some adjoining states, and I'm on my way up to do that today. And uh, usually it's a pretty good day. I uh, normally get um, several rings if I'm the first one there, but there's also a lot of other guys doing the same thing that I'm doing. So it just really depends on if you get there first or not. But hopefully today will be a pretty good day because it is a pretty good trip for me, three hour drive. And uh, But I like to end out with a bang. I broke my record of 72 rings. I'm at 76 right now. And whatever I get today, uh, this week, uh, and this weekend, and next weekend, it's the official end, is next weekend that I will not water hunt anymore. I hope I'll hang it up for the last two weeks of September, and then I'll start gearing up for fall. Uh, reason why, it's not that it's not warm enough to still water hunt, you can still do that. It's just the fact that the lakes do cool down just a little bit in the evenings now, but it's, it's really not the, the temperature. It really is because there's no more in my area no more people are going to the lakes after Labor Day. They're all done, they're in school, they're in the pattern of school, and so lakes are not being replenished. So if you go out and detect after Labor Day, you're just really kind of hitting uh, what people have missed, or, and, and there's just not that many swimmers, so that much anymore. And then the water does get a little bit cooler, and, uh, and then I just like to take a break. I kind of get burnt out doing so much traveling, so much hunting. So, Anyway, hopefully today is going to be another another good day. Um, uh, we'll find out. We're going to enjoy weather, whatever we get, right? And so I've still got about another 30 minutes to get to my location. It's 7.13. I've been on the road since 4.45 this morning. And uh, so I've got a little, little bit further to go. So when I get out there and get in the water, I'll put the camera on the first good find that I get. So I will see you out in the water. Well, just for a second, I thought I had a gold ring. Uh, I was ringing up a 70, 72. It looks really good. I don't think it's, I don't think it's uh, any markings in it. Uh, if it is, I'll definitely show you later on. I think it's just a kind of aluminum ring, junk ring. All right, let's keep on going. dug this 76 to 78 signal up and it says uh, Virgo 828 through 922 uh, I thought it was silver could be silver a low grade but I don't know there's, there's no markings on it but uh, hey, it's something different I dug a bracelet up as well and so uh, let's keep on rolling let's see if there's anything else in this swim area and then we're going to head down to a uh, state park and finish out the day down there all right see you at the next one Well, it's getting like a 68 uh, to a 69. That's usually going to be a tungsten ring, and sure enough, it is. It's kind of a small tungsten ring, about waist deep water here. So that's uh, ring number three, two junk rings and a tungsten. And uh, let's see if we can't get a gold or a silver or something else. Let's keep on rolling with it. Let's keep on moving. Well, I uh, got my first signal here, ringing up a real choppy 70-something. And how would you like a big old kiss? <laughs> That's got to be worth a lot of money. A big old kissy ring. All right. Uh, well, that's something. Let's keep on rolling. Just 
about waist deep water here and uh, got a like a 48 to a 50 real jumpy signal thought it's gonna be a nickel and it's gonna be a Lord's Prayer preacher digger got his cross look at that there it is it's an episode I got my cross uh, this is like the fifth ring like this type it's got the Lord's Prayer on it I'll take it any day all right let's keep on rolling this is a good spot Well, I was getting a 42 here, and uh, it's going to be another just a stainless steel ring. I don't call them junk ring, but uh, they, there's no value in them. But anyway, I, I like digging them. A little 42, real thin. But hey, I'll take anything out here. This is uh, the day after Labor Day, and what you get after this day is pretty much pretty thin after that. Uh, nobody's really swimming. I'm here by myself, as you can see. And uh, beautiful, beautiful scenery up here. And so I'll take it. All right, let's keep on moving on. I was getting a uh, 47 to a 50. Get off me, bug. And uh, check that out. That is going to be, I think it says 14 carat. Another 14 carat diamond, gold diamond ring about waist deep water here so this is turning out to be a really good day and uh, I still got a lot more to cover and I still got one more uh, swim area to go to on my way home and uh, so this is one of those these lakes this one of three three lakes I come to after Labor Day uh, every year and uh, usually pays off pretty good everybody's in school so you get it to yourself and so uh, so far so good today let's uh, let's keep on swinging see what we come up with Just came out from the water, didn't find anything out there, making my way up here, get to 70, and uh, just scratched it up, and there is a ring. I don't think it's going to be uh, precious, I think it's going to be plated silver, but uh, it's a little wedding band, and uh, oh, it's been hunted by two other guys already this morning, so they missed this one. Well, it's been a long day today. This is my last trip to go water hunting. Took off, got up at 4.30, left the house at 4.45. Drove three hours, got to my first uh, location and uh, there was two other guys there, so we all hunted kind of together. And then I moved on to another lake and uh, hunted that section uh, a little while. Then I moved down to my third lake and uh, didn't find anything really. Uh, on. Well, I guess I did four lakes today, four different areas, but uh, most of everything was on the first and the second, not too much on the third and the fourth. But um, this is my last uh, trip for water hunting. I may go one more week. This is the day after Labor Day uh, 2021, and I may go one more week next weekend. But uh, there's just not a lot out there right now. But I always go on this trip because this, uh, in this state that I go to, you can detect the state parks the day after Labor Day. And so there's always something there. And uh, so I got a few things. I didn't get a whole lot, but I did get enough for one day. I mean, I'm not complaining by no means. I got gold and and uh, got some good finds, but uh, um, I had a good time. But I'm just, I'm getting wore out. I'm getting sunburned and just wore out. So I'm about ready for cooler weather and cooler temps and uh, relic hunting to start back up. So let me spin you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, here's all the trash for the day. That can right there, it gave me a cut on my finger. And uh, I was bleeding there for a little while, but I just kept going. I was glad I was in a clear water lake, not a real muddy water lake. But later on that day, I was in muddy water. I got to worry about my cut. But anyway, there's the trash, the aluminum. I've got another vape pen. Here's some uh, stuff. I wanted this one swimming area where I found most of my stuff today. And my goodness, look at all the bullets. I mean, what's happening in this lake? Those are fired bullets at that. And uh, they must have had a, a gunfight out there or something. I don't know. But those are fired bullets, three of those things. And I found them all in the water right there close together. Bottle caps, pull tabs, 
square pull tabs. Got me a snorkel. A couple of toys here. Got a ball. I eyeballed that on the bottom of the water. There's a spinner or a fidget thing. I don't know what you call that. Uh, this was kind of ringing up really loud. That's a, a lead bar. You can see it's been melted off of right there. A lead bar. I found that way down deep in the water in the muck. Got a couple of pair of sunglasses. I only got not a lot, not a lot of coins. I think the place that I went has been hunted today, and uh, there's just not a lot out there. Five pennies, three nickels, and we got seven dimes, and only a dollar twenty-five in quarters. I got three big loop earrings. I got two stud earrings, and uh, part of a charm bracelet, the peace symbol. And this is a real neat thing. It rang up like a 79, I think, or something like that. And it says Virgo on it. I don't know what it is. Then I got a nice little bracelet. And check that out. Got me some lips. How about that? Lips and lipstick ring. Can't beat that, can you? I dug that. That was my first ring in the first lake that I went to. I thought it was uh, going to be gold. But when I picked it up, it was too light. And later on, I looked. There's no uh, markings in it. I got uh, a stainless steel ring. Then I got this Lord's Prayer ring. This is, I think, number five of these that I have. So I did, though, right there. Preacher Digger did get his cross. How about that? Uh, this is going to end up being non-precious. I didn't see any markings on it. It feels real light. Uh, a little wedding band and then I got a real cool uh, tungsten ring with a cool design in it do you know that what design it is I have to look that up almost like James Avery at first but it's not then here's the find of the day I got me I think it's gonna be a 10 carat it could be 14 carat it's kind of dark I need to clean it up and see but that was ringing up like a 52 54 just like a pull tab was got a lot of diamonds in it check that out but it's gold, it's got some weight to it. And so that is my 10th gold ring, and this is my fourth trip out. I have found 10 gold rings every time I've gone out. I found three, then three, then three, then one. And so I uh, had a real good day on that. I'm happy with that gold. And I uh, thought that was gonna be gold too, but nope, just gonna be a false uh, ring. Anyway, there's my trash, and here is all my treasure for the day. I wanted to show you, I ended up this summer with a lot of rings. Uh, I ended up with a lot, uh, 83. My record was 72. I ended up with 83 rings, 11 of them were gold. Uh, lots of chains, lots of necklaces, lots of bracelets, lots of earrings, and uh, lots of other things in between, lots of money. I don't even dig the money, I just dig it. I don't look for money, I just dig it as I come across it, because you never know when it's gonna be a ring. But at, at the end of every water season, I like to show you every all the trash that I dig as well to show you that it takes a lot of digging to get those 83 rings. And so let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. Here it is. This is Preacher Digger's trash from Memorial Day to the weekend after Labor Day. That is a bunch of stuff, isn't it? A lot of stuff. A lot of cans. I don't dig every can, but if I dig it, I'll take it out of the water. If I step on bottles, I'll take them out as well. This is all the aluminum foil and uh, just tidbit stuff like that. There's some toys. You got a spinner, a goofy, a boat, a ball, a cork, a snorkel. A lot of these um, vape pens. We dig a lot of those. A lot of iron. I, I dig a lot of iron sometimes. But mostly what you dig is all these caps here. They sound really good. Lots of bottle caps. Look at all those bottle caps. Get you a side view and you can see how many. It's just piled up there. Lots of uh, old pull tabs. There's more there than what look on the camera and tons and tons of these square uh, pull tabs. Lots of those. I dig one set of goggles. I got one set I gave to my granddaughter. Lots of glasses this year. I come across them. Terminator, I'll be back next Memorial Day. And a lot of glasses, hair bows, hair stuff, keychains. Uh, lots of fishing weight and fishing hooks, man. I've got some big, big fishing weights in here. Check that out. I should go cash them in. Lots of batteries, lots of uh, shells. 
But you got to dig all of that, every bit of it, to get all that jewelry. And then, in the process, when you're not digging jewelry, you're digging all of this. This is all my change. I don't know, probably two or three hundred dollars here. There's a lot of quarters. And, uh, but yeah, I'm going to go cash them in probably next week. I got a bank. I just take them up there and they put them in their coin counter. And, and I'll let you guys know. I'm going to weigh, put them in that bag and I'm going to weigh the bag. And then we're going to take it up there and see how much it is. It is. So, so there's all my trash from Memorial Day to the weekend after Labor Day. Here's all my change, and you've seen all my rings and all the videos and all the jewelry. But you gotta dig the trash to get the treasure, don't you? But the greatest treasure is not what you can dig out of a lake through a summer. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting. God bless. video give me a thumbs up and subscribe i appreciate it very much